In four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Everybody sing. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm starting off the show tonight with major competition in that, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Trump, our president, is, is holding a speech to convince, and he's kind of doing his own Ed Sullivan show by uh, introducing people in the audience that uh, can get sympathy for the things that he believes in. And it's kind of interesting as I watch it because it's, uh, it's, it, he's using human misery <laughs> and putting it up there in the, in, the, in the bleachers and they're crying and they're doing all kinds of things and it's, it's not good. It's, you know, but look, I'm not going to say anything nice about this guy, so don't expect it out of me. Uh, I could play a little bit of him. There he is. An unmatched power is the surest means to our true and great defense. For this reason, mm -hmm. I am asking Congress to yeah. end the dangerous defense sequester and fully fund our great military. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. So it's all predictable. Most of it's predictable. He had a couple of things that we'll talk about it later that, you know, I don't necessarily disagree with. Let me get rid of him off my screen here. I don't even want him. Anyway, uh, the president's giving his speech. I would play the part of it that we, you know, that's going on right now, except for a, one small little fact, and that is that I don't want to. And the reason I don't want to is because uh, I'm, I'm working on stuff at the same time as I'm talking to you. I don't want to because uh, if I play it by tomorrow when somebody might be listening to this, it'll be old stuff. So why do it anyway, right? So anyway, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, doing it that way, okay? So we're not going to play it, all right? Okay, I'm sorry. I, 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 I would like to play it for you. Uh, but it, it doesn't serve me any great purpose except to waste time on this program where someone would be listening to it later and going, eh, why should I do that? Plus, I don't have a graphic of the president to put up, and I, I, don't, I don't give a shit, okay? Now, let me explain a few things to you. Um, I've made some changes here, uh, and uh, it's, it's a temporary change that I hope will be a permanent change, okay? Okay. Um, for, the long, for a while, we've been using Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook Live came about, and we said, well, well, give it a try. When we first did it, man, we got amazing amounts of people listening to us because it was a novelty. And now Facebook Live isn't a novelty, but Facebook Live sucks. I mean, in comparison, if you're watching us right now, and I'll explain how you can watch us right now, you're seeing a better picture than you've probably ever seen on Facebook Live. And uh, it, it, it's, uh, I think, going to be uh, um, just, you know, just fine. Uh, we have a great uh, chat thing going that's there, a live chat that you can do. And it's on YouTube, okay? Now, here's how you get to it, okay, in case you're listening uh, over on the audio side and you're going, oh, where is it? Well, to begin with, if you're over on our GabNet page, there's an actual link to it. Uh, there's a new link I put up that said, you know, but on uh, uh, Monday through uh, Fridays at 10 o'clock, uh, uh, click on this and you can see the program. Actually, what you can do, you can actually make this a tab on your browser and always go there. And when we're on, it'll be active. And when we're not on, it won't be active. Okay? It's as simple as that. So uh, uh, I'm just telling you now that... Uh, uh, you can actually just always have it open and be ready for the show when you want to be ready for the show. 
And when you don't want to be ready for the show, then you don't have to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In other words, how this thing works is that you go to the page and it says uh, live stream inactive or something like that. And then when I push the button here, all of a sudden you see me on your screen. So there's nothing you really have to do. You don't have to reboot or do anything. Just make a tab if you know how to make a tab on your browser and have that tab be our video tab. And whenever we're doing a live program and we may do more than just this one, uh, it will play. And after the show, for those of you who are wedded to Facebook Live, we will post the show to Facebook Live, but we're not going to post it uh, until after the show is over because obviously we won't have a recording of it till then. But you can watch. Now, what you do is you can go to my Facebook page and I will have a thing there saying, you want to watch the show tonight? Here's the link. Okay, it'll be there every night. And that way you can watch it. Now, I don't know how many people are watching. Well, we've got, you know, we've got a, a handful of people watching it tonight. And we'll see what it, what it turns out to be. Um, right now, as I look at it, it's about what it was when we were on Facebook Live. But the question is, are people finding it? You might want to put on the chat whether you just found it or not, you know. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> give me a... Uh, a buzz on it. Let's see here. Is there anybody saying anything? Uh, um, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, no, just Forbin Colossus is, uh, is chatting right now. But if somebody else would like to chat, we'd love to hear from you. I'm wearing a turtleneck tonight. You might just write and tell us how, what you think of the video and everything. Uh, 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 I am uh, wearing a turtleneck tonight, and uh, the reason I'm wearing a turtleneck is I was wearing this today when I went to court. Yes, today we had our court date for this whole thing with the rental here, you know, with the place we're renting. We are now going, as of April, I think, it will be five years uh, that this thing has been been going on. It's actually been going on longer than that, but five years. And so we've been basically squatters here because who do we who do we send the rent to? You know, uh, where's our lease? We need a lease. Uh, so there's this whole court battle that's taken place, and it, you know, I got to tell you, it costs a lot of money. So far, girlfriend through her loan has put out and paid back most of. $40,000, and we're nowhere near a resolution. Um, it, what, what stands to happen now is, well, what we went to, through today is that the guy who is suing the two of us, the landlord and us, okay, wanted injunctive relief or something like that, where he is prevailing upon the judge, okay, to... Uh, Find in his favor without any trial or anything. Here's all the evidence, and you, you come on, give us the goods. And of course, the landlord then filed a counter to that one, and we didn't file anything. We just kind of sat there and filed our own brief saying why we felt it shouldn't happen. So today was the day that they actually had a court date. This thing's been going on for a year, waiting for a court date, waiting for a court date, waiting for a court date. So today we have a date on this particular procedure, not on whether, you know, we should stay here or not stay here or whatever. And we go there, and it is, I got to tell you, uh, let me just give you an idea of the enormity of, uh, of, 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 uh, I keep looking back here because I can see the numbers of people that are watching, which is good. I love this picture, by the way. It looks great. Anyway, so we, we go there, and uh, it, it starts off. And uh, she is uh, the uh, judge, a she, a woman, a very, uh, I hope, nice woman. I will think wonderful of her if everything turns out our way. But anyway, uh she then starts pulling out all the materials she has on this case. And I swear to you, she gets one pile of one brief thing and it's that thick. And the next one, that thick. And the next one, that thick. All right? By the time we're through, we have a pile of papers that I swear are this high. 
Now, this is all, these are all the papers, these are all the documents that so far have been presented in this case by the three different lawyers. Is this really necessary? I mean, can't we simplify this process? And secondly, you know, I'm not a guy with a great amount of money at this point in my life. My wife works, but I don't want her to have to work any longer. I'd like her to go into retirement with me and learn the joys of having nothing to do with your miserable fucking life. But uh, uh, we don't have huge money at our disposal. We have a, she has a loan we've taken off on her apartment, which Believe me, her apartment's worth way more than the loan, and she's paid back most of it, okay? So uh, that's where we're getting our money from. Meanwhile, the landlord owns a building here that's got to be worth two, three hundred million dollars, maybe more, I have no idea. And they own a lot of other properties around, and they've been making money for years, so they can afford to just play the lawyer game. Okay, yeah, well, he sent them 40,000 bucks. You know, that's, and... So he's, they're able to play out that clock now, but they're on our side. They're kind of, we're kind of co-defendants. Uh, the other guy uh, was a basketball player and uh, we assume has a decent amount of money, but you know, I don't know how he's affording this even, but he is. And the question is, what happens to somebody like me, like my wife and I? If you don't have this kind of money to fight this kind of thing, well, if you don't, I guess you go to, there's another court here, and that is the renter's court or whatever, and you go and you plead it there and you get yourself a, uh, a, a, a lawyer who is uh, going to work in your behalf because it's pro bono or whatever, and, and he'll tell you, well, just, you know, pay the ticket or whatever you know, the thing is. So really, we would probably not even be here now if we couldn't somehow finagle the money for the lawyers. But all I, all I could see when I saw that pile of papers was if we spend $40,000, then the landlord paid at least $40,000, and uh, the guy who is suing both of us, and we're suing him back, it paid another $40,000, there was a lot of money that had been made in that room. And how does that serve justice? Should I have to sit around? Should any of us have to sit around for the better part of, well, it's going on five years to find resolution? And we probably are not going to find resolution this year because I was told today that the judge hopefully will judge that there's no kind of injunctive relief that she's going to give or whatever it's called. Uh, and I said, what happens then? Well, he says, well, then we go, to, we go to trial. I said, when's that? He said, oh, a year or more. A year or more? You mean I have to go through this more than I have already? You know, so, I mean, it was, and it was amazing to sit there and watch it, you know, to, to watch what was going on. And the strange thing was, number one, you couldn't hear too well because there were no microphones in there. So they could hear each other, the, the lawyers and the judge, but back, the room was hollow and it was hard to hear. We couldn't tell whether we were winning or whether we were losing or what the fuck was going on. But one person presents their case and then they're being asked questions by the judge and then another person and then, the, then, then ultimately our guy gets up and he gives his, and he did a very good job of it. And we don't know what to think because she's acting a certain way and the uh, girlfriend's looking at me going, I don't know if we're going to win this thing. And then, uh, you know, then all of a sudden she turns on that lawyer and she goes. And finally, at the end, when it's all over, um, our lawyer comes over to us and we said, well, how, did, how do you think it went? And he said, well, walk out with me. And so we walked out and uh, he said, um, I think you're in great shape. He said, you know, I can't see that, uh, he, she said, uh, all that was about the two of them. I made my case. She kind of felt I had made it and moved on to the rest of the stuff. She said, uh, it looks like we're, we're in, in damn good shape. 
you know, but I said, we, we didn't get that watching it. And he says, I know, it's not that way. You're not going to get it, you know. He said, there's a lot of stuff going on. You don't understand the, the dance that's going on. So we walked with him, and we walked back to his office, and we were going to go get something to eat. And all of a sudden, I realized I left my iPad back in the courtroom. So now I run back. His girlfriend says, I'll stay here. And I went, oh, God, you know. I run back. It's at least a quarter of a mile, maybe a half a mile. And I go to the courthouse, and luckily it's still open. And I go up to the courtroom, and I look first in the ante room to see if it's there. It's not there. I'm going, oh, my God, it's in the courtroom. I hope the courtroom is open. I pull on the door. The door opens. And as I'm pulling the door open, the uh, clerk is walking towards me because she's going to take this bag that has my iPad in it upstairs to the fifth floor for lost and found. And I said, that's mine. And she said, oh, good. I said, thank you very much. And I left. All I'm thinking about is now i got to put, this is not only costing $40,000, it's going to cost $41,000 because I'm going to have to buy a new iPad. So anyway, it was just that I was so uh, wanting to talk to him that I completely forgot my iPad. And, when I, and, and luckily, I was going to say, let's go take this train. And she said, no, let's walk with the lawyer for a while. And if we hadn't walked with the lawyer, I would have been on the train already before I realized I didn't have my iPad. Because I don't normally carry my iPad wherever I go. Some people carry it wherever they go, and so they know it's there and it's in there, and that's what they're supposed to do. But I don't. And uh, so uh, I would have forgotten it. And so it's just pure luck that I was able to go back and get the goddamn thing. And I probably would have gotten been able to get it the next day if I went down there and went to the fifth floor and went to Lost and found and said, yeah, that's my bag. That's my iPad. Hey, it's, it's a building full of cops. What can I say? They're not, hopefully they're not going to steal. So anyway, you know. And uh, uh, so that's, that's the sum total of it so uh, what do you think so far uh let's see here how many people we got watching eh, the normal amount are watching you know so uh you know it, it's just a question of i won't get a total like i used to get but i don't care uh, th uh tell me do, do you uh, do you like the picture do you think it's better than we've been uh, been getting here uh scott says uh is ivanka wearing a throw rug no no he's wearing the throw rug uh, let me see here. Um, anybody else? Louise Eitlin says, hi, Alex. Okay. And uh, that fracking cat says, watching the State of the Union and listening. Good, fracking. Good to hear from you, too. Took me a minute to get here, but I had the audio on. Okay, so you see, I mean, and the picture, I think, you know, it's larger. It looks better. Uh, uh, and and uh, I, I think uh, we're... we're this is like 720p, I think, is what it is. And uh, so I, you know, Forbin, uh, who you see his name here, Forbin Colossus, uh, has for the longest time been nagging me to go to YouTube. And I've, I haven't wanted to do it. Then finally, the other night, he wrote me again. He said, give it a try, give it a try. So I went on and I played with it. And I saw that, A, the picture is better. I have no idea how the sound is because I don't have the, uh, uh, the audio on. Here, wait a minute. Maybe I can turn it on here for a second and I can hear. Go to YouTube. And I, hey, the sound sounds better than it sounds on Facebook. Uh, people, you can write up there. Just tell me, do you think it's, it sounds better than, uh, than uh, uh, and, and, and looks better than it has looked in the past? Um, I think it does. So we'll just uh, hope and pray. that. And it's easier for me to do, by the way. It's just where the other way I had to take some numbers and put them in so it goes to Facebook and then it turns the Facebook thing on. But if I turned it off, I could turn this off right now and turn it right back on. The picture would stop and then it would start again, okay? It's that simple for me. So it's a very simple process now. So I really prefer this to, to what we, the way we were doing it. So uh, sounds great, dude, says Scott Boddicker. Good, uh, Scott. I love, uh, love it. Picture is tremendous, yeah. Uh, 
speech is so long, I think the Donald's wearing depends and cramping while he's talking. That's from Forbin Colossus. Uh, it could well be true, my friend. Is he still going? Really? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me look at this. I, I can't believe, because, you know, usually they go, they go 50 minutes, maybe they go an hour. Let me see here. Let me just turn on the picture and see. Um, that, no, that, that I have to turn on. And I, there we go. And then I got to turn that on, and I can get a look. You'll be able to see the screen over here. Uh, come on. Go on. Okay, there we go. It's on. Okay. He's still going? God damn it. Shut the fuck up, you miserable shit. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, that's my... I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed that, folks. That's my opinion of the president. He's still going? That means that this speech has gone so far an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, so, anyway. Uh... Anything else I want to talk about? Yeah, no, that was it. The lawyer, the, the, the legal thing, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to more of it. It's just, you know, somebody said to me, I think it was my friend Shecky, who said to me, you'll be dead before this thing is over. And you know something? He could well be right. I mean, I have, no, you know, another year at least if this isn't, uh, and, and we're hoping and praying it isn't over at this point. But uh, Jesus, it's just amazing to me. Just amazing to me. Yeah, anyway. And I had to pee a lot. For some reason, last night I got up like three times last night to pee. And I don't usually do that because I'm taking the medicine and all of that. And, you know. But I think it's because I, I, my diet doesn't seem to be working. So I've gotten very strict on my low carb. And that sometimes causes you to pee more. So... Anyway, I may have to run out during the show and pee because I was sitting there like having to pee in the worst way while this whole thing was going on in court. And I don't want to miss a minute of it because, you know, I could miss the part where she goes, pay the money, you know. So anyway, let's see here. How many people are watching us? That's a lot. That's good. We're, we're getting there. Now, oh, there's one other thing. And let me say this to you. If this is the first time you've come over to watch anything on YouTube or to watch uh, a live show on YouTube, do, do me a favor. We have about 440 subscribers. That's not a lot. If I get 1,000 subscribers, I can convert to Super Chat, whatever that is, and I want to do that. So if you will, wherever you can, subscribe to this channel, Okay. Uh, I don't know where you would go to get to subscribe to it, though. It's not, it's not like there's suddenly a, a thing here that says subscribe. Uh, and I don't know if it would say so for me because, uh, well, just go over to Alex Bennett. And put in Alex Bennett and uh, look for my channel. <clears throat> my channel. And there you'll be able to subscribe to it. I, I don't know. I see. I I may not be getting somewhat the same stuff that you're getting, only because it's on my account, and so it might not say, "Hey, subscribe," because I obviously I'm I'm okay. Um, but um, just uh, later on after the show's over, go over to Alex Bennett. Okay, uh, Al, uh, just put in Alex Bennett on YouTube, and you'll see an Alex Bennett channel. Click on that, and then go subscribe to it because I'd like more than 440 subscribers. And I, I, it's good, I have 440 and I never even tried to use this system. So anyway, uh, is he still talking? I, I'm, I'm not gonna pay attention to that. What the hell? Let me see here, let me turn on Skype, okay? This is so much easier, and, and the video doesn't chatter or stop or have any problems, and it's big, and it's, uh, it looks good, and it's, uh, it's terrific. So uh, everybody, uh, give me a call. Um, hold on a second. Let me get rid of uh, some of these people here, some of this stuff here. 
There we go. There we go. Getting rid of that. Okay. All right. I just had to do some stuff here to get us ready for for action. And listen to me. I'm sniffling. Do you mind if I blow my nose? Oh, well. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here comes Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey. All right. Move, I move, fix move. my camera. Yeah, move your camera down a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah this because is the machine. Look at him. He looks like his. He looks like Kilroy uh, was here. Let me let me find the camera in here. There's uh, software for it. Can't, oh, can't, can't you just move it? Oh, there you go. Uh, there you go. Yeah. That's, well, I could, that, but uh, that's, that's that better. controls. Yeah. Horizontal. It controls yeah. the vertical. Yeah. Here's Scott. Here's Scott. Oh, here's Phil. How are you? All oh, right. How are you? Scott, we can't even see you. You're like you're in a witness protection program. I'm watching the the rump on TV. Yeah, the, the uh, rump I've on TV. I've been so proud. He, he's doing a great job. And I was watching that, that scourly Nancy Pelosi sit there and scour and at, at things that you know, hey, we need unity. The word, the word we need isn't, to come wait, together. The word and she is, sits there and scours. The word isn't scour. That's something you do with a Brillo pad. Scowl I, is scowl. Is, is scowl pad. is the word you're looking scowl, for. Scowl, scowl, scour. Hey, you know, what do you want? I well, got a great I get, school I, education. I get, I get pissed off when I see a Democrat stand up and applaud. You know, but there's a lot of stuff that they should have stood up and applauded for, and they didn't. You, you could have said... Uh, you know, that, uh, you know, we want peace on earth. And they would have sat there and said, ah, oh, that son of a bitch, Trump. <laughs> they, they, they would have stood up if they, uh, Trump would have keeled over, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, you know, if he had keeled over, Russia, though, nobody would have gone Russia. over to help him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, they would have been rushing to get a bigger office so they can get more money for their reelection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, yeah, I mean, but I got to tell you, is it still going on? That just ended. I just left. ended. Do you realize that speech was almost, it was an hour and 25 minutes? Yeah, they said it was going to be an hour. Oh, uh, well, apparently he had so many applause breaks he couldn't stand it. Well, you know. Uh, and what was the Ed Sullivan routine constantly referring to people in the, in the balcony it, to begin with? Every president does that, but not that many. Well, he had a lot of uh, a, a lot of successes in the last year. Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of successes. This woman helped kids in a burning fire. That was his success. I don't think so. Yeah, well, he's lauding that success. Hey, hey, man, well. No planes have crashed. No planes have crashed, man. Thanks, Trump. Yeah. Hey, turn on a light so we can see your face. No, you don't need to see yes, me. You know I, what I look like. You'll just make fun of me. YouTube. Anyway. You're on YouTube, Scott. He wants a good uh, presentation. Yeah. If we're going to be part of this group, uh, we got to do our best to aid to the quality of the show. I don't want people on YouTube looking at me. Well, they, yeah. they, they look at you anyway, and they say, what the hell is that? Jesus Christ? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you're starting to look like that big Lebowski uh, thing. Lebowski. Uh, Lebowski, whatever. Well, uh, I do like white Russians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if anybody else calls. Uh, they're probably all still watching the uh, the thing. So did you they're have... They hung themselves. <laughs> did, it, well, did either of you have any trouble finding, going and getting this video? No. No. The YouTube? No, no, it was easy. I you, don't link. you know what happens if you put if you put it as a, a, a page in your browser, it'll just say not live, not streaming right now. And then as soon yeah. as I start streaming, it will start up, so you don't have to do anything. I, uh, I have a friend who makes his living pretty much off of YouTube, mm -hmm. and uh, I get a uh, I get an email or or I get something that says uh, Matt is live. Uh, uh, right now. Well, then that probably all my subscribers get that too. Uh, I don't know. I, I have to subscribe, and I got to remember what my sign in is for YouTube in order to subscribe. It wants me to sign in. Yeah. Well, either that or just sign in as somebody else. You know. I looked my buddy up, and he has five hundred and fifty-four thousand subscribers. Really? On YouTube. Yeah. Well, well we're, the we're, eighth. Uh, I think they said he was in either eighth percentile or the eighth uh, uh, highest. And, and what does he do that attracts these people? Makeup tips. Uh, he, uh, 
Yeah, makeup tips, and and he's got a cat. <laughs> no, what he does is uh, he does a lot of photography instruction, and uh, uh, he goes all over the world uh, uh, trying out different cameras, uh, and uh, and and just sort of doing a travel log. Uh, he leads classes as and uh, but for the most part, he has a lot of uh, opening box openings and comparisons. Well, and, you know, uh, if we could just get some woman with big tits or something here, I could probably approach that number. Well, he, uh, but he the works only with tits here are mine, and they're not really. Well, he has, he usually has up. whatever <laughs> model he's working with. Yeah, uh, he's got a couple that are consistent and uh. Very good looking. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Well, that's it. See, I, it really helps. Yeah, but you know, he really established his channel on his own. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he, it sounds it sound... took him about seven years. Oh, it took him about seven years. Uh, it took me seven years to get four hundred and forty people to subscribe to mine. <laughs> but the, but there's really been nothing there. You know, yeah. there's been no reason to. And now I'm only asking people to do it so I can get. You know, uh, up to a thousand uh, people. So, hey, Alex, I pushed a button on the on the YouTube thing under your picture. It said subscribe, and oh. it went from four hundred two to four hundred three. So, oh, okay. So it's on the page. See, I can't tell here yeah. because what I'm yeah. getting are the are my pages. You know. Okay. So uh, my pages obviously wouldn't say subscribe, but if, yeah. if everybody has a subscribe on their page, uh, just click subscribe. You know, and then you, you have will... to sign in to subscribe. Huh? You have no. to sign in to subscribe. I well, didn't. You, well, maybe I you didn't. already I mean, signed I mean, in. It went up to, I saw it, maybe somebody else did it too, but I clicked it. I clicked it and it went from 402 to 403. I don't know what it's, see oh. what it's. I went, I pushed the subscribe and it said you got to sign in. No. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'm signed. I don't know. It, you might be signed in. And yeah. But uh, am I, 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 well, we're, we're going to see. I mean, I, uh, so far right now, I have more people than usually on an average are listening at any one time. So uh, it's, it, it could turn into a, it could in turn into something good. But I need more people to call so I can show people what a citizen panel is. So anyway, so you were proud of your boy Trump tonight. Yeah, I think he did a good job. Uh, and you know what? It's it's time to start I think he did a, running. I think he, I think he did a horrible job. Uh, I cannot take him. Wait a minute! I cannot take him reading from a teleprompter any longer. You remember this was the it's guy. Don't look at him. Obama does. No, it's no, no, no. Look no. At him Do you remember he was the guy who assailed Obama for using a teleprompter? Right. He's the guy that is growing in the job and realizes and, if he and, doesn't. Well, speak. part of growing in the job is to learn as well as Obama how to use that teleprompter, and that does not include staring at it all the time. Well, Obama just happens to be a lot better at using the teleprompter. Well, so was him. so was George Bush, and so was Bill Clinton, and so was Bush before him, and so was right. Ronald Reagan. Would you be happier if he just talked off? The yes, cuff? because I don't feel he's sincere when I know he is just reading. He's yeah, not selling it. He's not he selling it. All the points that he made are his genuine points and uh, the things that he set out to do before he got elected. Mm-hmm. And uh, by the way, I, it, by the way, did he tell? Did he talk at all about how good the stock market is doing? Uh, yeah. Well, didn't it go down a little bit today? A little bit. It went down three hundred and fifty points. Three hundred and fifty points to a twenty-six thousand dollar market. Uh, believe me, believe me. You have a couple of more of those days, and we're in bad shape. Yeah. 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 Hello to uh, Jeff and hello to uh, 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 Rob Alfano. Wait a minute. Here is Rob going to, is his camera going to cut in? Let's see. We're waiting. Uh, That's what I hate oh. about that circle that goes around. You're waiting and you're waiting. Hey, Alex, I'm going to give you a, a, a wait, wait. shot. I'm on the new machine tonight. Any difference? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> no, there isn't any difference. In fact, it seems no. a little blurrier. Um yeah. Uh, yes. Hello, Rob. How are you? Did you check us out on the, on the YouTube? No, I was watching the president. Oh, okay. Because we're on YouTube now. We're not using Facebook Live anymore. Oh no. You know, and all you got to do is I have a uh, well, I have a uh, on gabnet.net. We have a link to this to the page where it's playing live. 
mm-hmm. and uh, uh, also uh, uh, on my Facebook page, there is a thing where you can click on it, and it'll take you to where we're live. Uh, and that page, you can actually put a tab in your browser, and it will only become active when I push a button here and start streaming. Otherwise, it says not live streaming at the moment. And uh, then when I click it, all of a sudden, you, you get it's a lot easier. And it's a better picture. And it's better audio. And uh, uh, goodbye, Facebook. You know, I see no reason to continue using Facebook. The, the, the pictures I see here on, uh, on all of this is just spectacular. You know? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. So, uh, and, and I, I got to thank uh, Forbin. Uh, Colossus, Forbin Colossus, who for months has been saying, go to YouTube, go to YouTube, go to YouTube. And I've, I've resisted it. And all of a sudden tonight, I went, okay, we'll go to YouTube. So here we are. Did you listen to the speech at all there, Rob? I watched the entire speech. Oh, God help you. What did you think? I thought it was the most presidential I've ever seen him. Yeah. And there were things I agreed with, the infrastructure, yeah. uh, you know, I uh, reducing the price of uh, prescription drugs. Yeah. Well, we'll um, see how he does on that and what the pay, what, what we're going to have to pay for it, you know? In other words, is it just going to lower the drugs or is something else going to happen or is something else going to have to happen before he makes that happen? You know, are we going to be held hostage for it? There was an announcement. I think it was yesterday. Uh, Warren Buffett and uh, and I believe Apple and uh, well, Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, Apple and one other large company. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, was it Exxon? Or? No, no. It was ba- it was a bank. Uh, I think it's uh, Chase. Ch- JP okay. Morgan and Chase. what they said was they want to get uh, they want to fix health care. Uh, that they uh, well, that the they rising get, costs yeah. of health care are getting out of well, hand. Well, they don't want no. They don't want to fix health care. That's not what they're saying. They want to <laughs> well, give the better drugs. no. They want to give better health care to their employees. That's what this is. And it's not like they're coming out with a new plan that you and I can buy. Well, I think you'd have to fix it if you want to have a better plan, right? Because it's costing so much money. You. You're going to have to find a way to get costs down. Well, and one of the ways it is a good start and hospitals need to be next. We need to figure out why it is that an aspirin costs so much in a hospital. You know, an aspirin has always cost that for years. That was always the big joke. Hey, an aspirin. I got it on my bill. It was thirty three dollars or something like that. Here's the thing with uh, uh, with what Buffett and company are, are doing is between them, they've got a million employees. That gives them a bargaining power you won't believe, you know. Uh, Everybody, every uh, prescription thing, every medical plan, people, whatever, are going to be jumping through hoops to do business with them. Yeah. You know, uh, it's too bad that we can't do the same thing, you know, that we don't have that same leverage. Uh, we do. Uh, what happened to Scott? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we lost in action. We, we lost in action. Yeah. Um, uh, it's connection. It could it be his connection, or was he just that was it, and he's gone for the night? You know. He he doesn't do that. Yeah, he doesn't do that. Anyway, so where Tell was me. I? <laughs> where was I? Uh, so uh, it. It, it would be nice if we could come out with something where we have that same kind of power. But they're going to give a plan to their to their employees. It's going to be a, a real great plan, they think. I mean, they must have thought this out. They didn't just suddenly decide, let's do a press release and see what the public thinks, you hmm. know. So I think, uh, you know. You know, I, I don't see, uh, if this is a model, mm-hmm. that other people can join that model. Uh, my company, we invented something called Biz Unite. Uh, which is a uh, which is a website that gives small businesses access to some of the buying power that uh, we have as uh, as a company. Uh, some of our deals, whether it be uh, cell phone uh, or a, you know processing your payroll, uh, a, a number of things. I haven't made any money on Biz Unite, but I own a share of it, <laughs> and uh, so the the idea is is that other companies can join in on this. 
Uh, it's almost the, the co-op uh, idea that my uh, buying group has is uh, that uh, they can join in on this and reap those benefits. Why couldn't uh, the uh, one million employees that are uh, uh, working for these three large companies mm -hmm. uh, be mm -hmm. the beginning seed to for uh, the, uh, these benefits to avail everyone? Yeah. <laughs> mute. We, we, yeah, we should. We should. Jeff, mute your phone. Mute your uh, Skype. It, it, they can't hear. Into his earphones, and they're sitting on the counter. At the earphone. Okay. All right. Uh, and wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here goes yeah. the earphone. Uh, Jeff, next time you go off to talk to somebody, mute your microphone, will you? Oh, I didn't mute. Yeah. Yeah. We heard you making that deal with a hooker, and it wasn't very. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> he doesn't have it on speakers. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, for instance, my union. Uh, we're going over to my union's health plan. Yeah. Uh, as as I, I I can I'm able to get a senior thing with uh, be having a BA, um, uh, a, what do you call it? A, uh, a supplemental Pardon. to my whatever, and it cost me. A little over, a little just edge over two thousand a year, uh, which is cheaper than any supplemental plan you can buy, and it's all the bells and whistles and a few things more, like twenty five hundred dollars a year uh, uh, on uh, dental, for instance. Any deductible? Uh, the deductible is uh, two hundred and fifty dollars a person. Oh, well, that's better than the uh, thousand. Uh, mine was a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, and you're only seeing your your other one wasn't really a uh, supplemental. It was uh, probably it, a full. It, it, well, here here is here. I wish we had some lawyers. I think we could make a good suit with uh, with Oxford, because what they're doing is they're charging her company. You ready for this? Twenty one thousand dollars a year for our policy. All right. When they're only going to be responsible for twenty percent. Because it's it's the twenty it's the twenty percent that uh, uh, that Medicare doesn't take. So how why should they be charging us like a full deal? They should be charging us like a supplemental, and they aren't. So if you didn't have Medicare, then they would be on the hook for everything but the thousand bucks. Well, no, but they are, but they they See, won't be on have supplemental no, no, with but, them. But, you just had a second insurance policy. No, I have Medicare. What do you, anybody no, anybody who doesn't take Medicare when they turn of age for Medicare is nuts. But the Oxford yeah. uh, is is not a supplemental that you had. Well, you what have they should have done is they should have offered a supplemental for us because they know that we right. have Medicare as our major. Here's the reason why we have Medicare as our major. If you're at a company and you have less than 100 people, I think it is, you, you, you uh, then Medicare becomes your primary. If you're at a, or maybe it's 50, I don't know. It's it's an, a, 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 a certain number. And if you get a medic, if you have a Medicare, but you're at a company with over 100 and you've got their policy, Medicare becomes your supplemental. See, so that's how it goes. And they, there are only four people on the plan where she works. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. that's that. That's the problem. You'd be better off, uh, uh, you know, if. Well, with if, AFTRA, we've I, got how many members in SAG AFTRA? T right. t tens of thousands, maybe. You know. Yeah. So uh, obviously, they can go in. They go. They they use. Um, I think Blue Blue Cross is who they use basically, and they use Delta Dental and so on. But they can go in and negotiate. The terms right. of these contracts because they've got this mass, massive amount of people that these companies want to have that's right so that's how that's how they do it now what the the biggest problem we've got in this country right now is remember they came out with the you know the the medical portion of medicare you remember the part d i think it's called it's the drug uh yeah i don't have to deal with that because i get my drugs through Oxford, right? Oh. Okay. But what happened was... They don't deny it. Yeah. Huh? When they don't deny uh, coverage. Well, they... No, they... Well, they... We, some, on some drugs, you do wind up having problems, you yeah. know, with these people. So anyway, so he, the deal was that... Um, uh, uh, where, where, where was I going with that? I was talking about the... 
Oh, the uh, your, your uh, drugs were through Oxford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the thing is that if we oh okay, Medicare and the Part D. Right. Part of the specification of Part D when it was created was Medicare could not uh, negotiate, negotiate the with the price with the, with the drug companies. Where right. if they could, those drug prices would be lower. Right. But they weren't allowed to. The fix was in. The fix was in, exactly. You know, so here you had how many millions of people who were on Medicare and would get Part D, but that couldn't be negotiated. You know, that you're going to be able to use these people if you blah, 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 blah. So it really was, uh, it, it, that, that was where they really went wrong. Uh, but, you know, the president's right. Drugs cost too much. I don't think he's going to wind up doing anything about it. I, I would not expect to see anything done about it. I, uh, I would see him wanting to say, oh, I want to do something about it, and then those assholes in Congress just batting the ball around for years. Well, uh, there's a lot of obstructionists uh, in Congress right now, about uh, 49, uh, not 40, in the Senate, 49%, but uh, in, in Congress. Well, I consider that uh, oh, 49% obstructionists, I'd say they're 51% obstructionists <laughs> in the Senate. Well, it depends on which way you look at it. I mean, if they aren't obstructionists, uh, you know, a lot of things would be possible. If, if everybody would work together in the best interest of the American people. All right. Would you not agree, Rob? Yeah, I mean, just by the fact that uh, they're not working together, just by the fact that uh, they want to release this letter, they, they, won't, they won't release both letters at the same time, the Republican letter and the Democratic. The fact that there has to be two separate letters is it shows that they're not working together. They should, they should, if they think, if they truly believe that there's something going on with our Justice Department, and there's corruption, then there should be a bipartisan group that gets together and goes behind closed doors mm -hmm. and actually talks about it, and then they craft something together because it's in the best interest of this country if it truly exists to wipe it out. So therefore you agree with Trump because that's exactly what he asked for uh, in his speech, and, uh, and I saw the majority of Democrats sitting there and Pelosi grinding her teeth. No, as a matter uh, of fact, I saw when that happened, I saw Schumer applauding. Uh, mm. Schumer, Schumer, I think, is coming over. I think Schumer is, is, uh, wants DACA to pass. Yeah, I, think he, I think he might be a pretty good guy. And he really No, he's a whore. He's Schumer. a whore. <laughs> well, he may be a whore, but he, he's whore. actually doing his job. Pelosi just wants a jet when she becomes Speaker of the House again. See, remember when Pelosi uh, first became Speaker of the House? She wanted her own 747, and they shot that down pretty well, quick. I'll, well, I'll tell you something about Pelosi. I think if, if they do become the majority again, I don't think she's going to be the Speaker of the House. I hope not. You no. know, I, 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 I think she they'll find somebody else. What? She was not good for government. I don't think she was bad. She was, you know, she was just a fighter. You didn't like that. No, oh, I like fighters, but I want them to fight for the common good of the people. Well, not for their own. Uh, I don't. Benefit. I don't see where Trump's doing anything for the good of the people. I mean, um, he he likes to brag about the economy, but the economy isn't doing as well as other countries are doing right now. Other countries have been outpacing us for a long time. And they're continuing to outpace us, so, but he's taking credit for a inc you know, things getting better, which were getting better anyway, and they're getting better internationally, but they're getting better in Europe and in Asia than they're getting here. Oh, well, who are you going to blame for things getting better, Tony? You know, I mean, uh, you got to blame somebody. Blame Trump. No, things are getting I, better. no, I don't mind him. I don't mind him pointing out. Well, things are getting better, but don't take the credit for it. Don't it's take, his because watch. because what you're doing is you the rest of the world has a trend going for it, and we're riding the crest of that trend, but below what they are, which means we are doing something here that's killing business. Yes, and, and and finally, it's getting turned around. We've been sending oh, our really? jobs out of oh, the country. Oh, really? We've been sending oh, our really? manufacturing what did I hear? What did I hear just the other day? That, uh, that in fact, we've been losing business because of Trump. Uh, I don't think so. There's been two and a half million jobs. Uh, and uh, well, where, the, what, where are those two, two and a half million jobs? Two, two and a half million jobs where? Uh, 
in the United States. So what do you mean? Is that, is that the increase in jobs? I'm, I think uh, that's what he said tonight. Yeah, I think that's what he said. Yeah, but he yeah. also said that uh, in the uh, manufacturing sector, there was uh, how many more, uh, Rob? Was it 200,000 or... Uh, well, uh, I don't believe so ha I don't believe half the, I don't believe half the shit he says because tonight when I was watching him, he said that Apple was going to spend three hundred and fifty billion dollars in this country, and that's not at all what Apple said. Going to bring back three hundred and fifty. No, no, billion he dollars. said. I heard him tonight. I, he said, "Quote: What's he going to do? What's what, Apple going to do with no, the money he if they said, don't spend he, it? And invest they're going to spend three hundred and fifty billion dollars in this country, and that's not what Apple said. Apple said." They were going to bring back three hundred and fifty billion dollars. Right. Now Apple has not been known to unload a lot of money. Okay, they they've been banking money for years. Okay, right, but they can only bank so much. But and but that was a fucking lie on Trump's part. No, no it's not. No, he, they did not. If you sit on three hundred and fifty billion dollars, you're going to want to invest it in something. You're going to buy course, some technology. Of course, you're going to buy Apple, yeah. apples. They, they got to invest in about a half a dozen iPhone X's. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what the situation is is, uh, you know, Apple hasn't had a winner for a while uh, since Steve Jobs. They're going to have to come up with some innovation. Now they got three hundred and fifty billion dollars to. Uh, oh, I feel to real sorry for Apple. And gee, let's give them three hundred fifty billion dollars to go back into the marketplace and clobber everybody with their money. I that's I a did. shitty fucking phone. You know, somebody said it. Somebody I said it at dinner the other night. They said anybody that has an iPhone X is a fastidious little asshole. <laughs> I always wanted to be an early adopter. You know, well, and, it, uh, an early adopter for a smaller phone than the old one. Yeah, because the old one didn't fit in my cup holder. Uh, in my I car. see, I see. But it's it, sliding no. off the console. Now I got one that fits in the cup holder. Speaking of the car and your phone, you get a new car instead. Did you <laughs> save the money? Yeah, right. By the way, if for for a hundred, I figured out for one hundred twenty-eight billion dollars, uh, yeah. Apple could give away a free iPhone X to every family in America. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, I think Allstate is taking are going to take advantage, or they're working on taking advantage of some technology that's in phones. And if this gets around, I mean, if this happens, it's going to go. You know, it'll go through the entire. What they're able to do is take advantage on the phone um, of of certain information that that uh, gyroscope or whatever it is in here that that GPS. detects motion. Oh, and that if you're texting or using your phone while you're driving good they'll know good and that'll, you'll that'll be arrested wives for driving too fast is now the, rob uh, kind of is your iphone a rose colored one no the the phone what? itself isn't this case is oh okay i yeah. bought the wrong case i i, I picked the wrong case it's Did, not it, that it's come with some phone. hello kitty stickers <laughs> I knew you were going there. <laughs> hey, don't talk to me, you fastidious little bastard with your fucking hey, I iPhone got X. 56 megs of memory here. Yeah? Use so, it well. I, 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 be, I believe I do too on mine. No, nah, you don't. You got 128. Wait, oh, well, it's big deal. Hey, you're going to put 256 on your phone? I want to tell me when you fill it up. Okay, or come close. When you go over 200,000, let me know. I'll have an iPhone In fact, 11 don't even let day. me know. Just leave a note on my grave. Yeah, I'll have an iPhone 11 by that time. Uh, I wonder so, what they're going to do when, when they do the iPhone 9, right? Because on the iPhone 8 now, they do the yeah, iPhone 9. Yeah. What happened? What? It's going to be a 9. I think they're going to go to 11 next. Are they going to go to 11 next? What I've read. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is that going to be the, is that going to be the is that going to be the Spinal Tap phone because it goes to eleven? I don't, and this <laughs> iPhone ten is going away. They're not going to lower the price. This is a short term thing. Yeah, that's what it was supposed. No, it to wasn't be. supposed to be. Nothing is supposed to be short term with Apple. But yeah. but this one will be because it's they, going because it's not it's not selling in China is the reason they're but, discontinuing it. The, the issue is, is they're not selling as many, but the price of it, you know, mine was $1,300. <laughs> and uh, because I got the 256, 
I got the 256 and and whatever other crap you could get. So it was 1300. If if you just buy the base one, uh, which I don't know what the memory is on that, uh, it was a thousand, which was 200 more than the eight. Did you know? Have you noticed the motto on the back of your phone? A sucker's born every minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, Listen, I'm just, I wish I wish there were a way I could get out of the uh, out of the Apple eco structure. It's just that I'm so wedded to it with my messages and with my all that stuff that I've got to have everything. My watch, my phone, my iPad all have to be Apple. But I'm, I I spent an hour and a half on the phone with Apple the other night, uh, wiping my new computer, getting it all set up. And then the next night, I uh, tr once I had everything operating, they helped me migrate all my data from the uh, mini to the pro. Now let me let me tell you this: I didn't pay a penny for that. I got service. I got guys that spoke English perfectly. I I got uh, the kind of service that you used to get back in the '80s when you had WordStar and CPM. Uh, I don't know who you called at Apple or who you're blowing at Apple. Apple Care. But, uh, I, uh, <coughs> but wait a minute. Hold on a second. But I've called Apple Care and I've gotten a foreign country. Well, you know why? Because they're on to you, Bennett. <laughs> so, Maybe it's a time of day that you called. I don't you know. know. Um, we do follow the sun. Uh, it was. Uh, it, it was in the evening, uh, uh, on. Um, on maybe uh, Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, and then uh, on Sunday morning. I mean, when Alex got uh, out of the uh, country because they probably have a uh, follow the sun support model where, you know, you if you call in the middle of the night or whatever, you might get support from outside the country. But yeah. I'll tell you what, they don't ever charge you for anything. I don't have Apple Care. I don't have any of that. I call. I have a problem. They take care of it, and they don't give up. Right. Uh, they I don't give up. They don't I, keep I, you plugged in your computer. So you you, know, you didn't know how to migrate your stuff over to your new machine? Uh no, because uh you, no, don't, I didn't. you don't you don't do a backup on your machine? No, I don't have I didn't have time machine, but there's a way of having them talk to one another. You oh yeah, no, of course. Cable. Yeah, no, you, but you have a cable uh, migration, uh something migration assistant. And you got to get it going on both machines, and uh, yeah, but I've done that before. It's, it's yeah, well, it, I have. you can go online and read about it, and it'll tell you how to do it. When I got my iPhone, I just sat it next to my old iPhone, and it did what it had to do. I didn't have to do anything. I just, you know, it, when it's set up, it, it had just set it next to the other one, and it just migrated mm -hmm. uh, automatically. Yeah. Whereas, uh, whereas uh, this computer, this wasn't a brand new computer. It belonged to my friend Matt, and uh, uh, he said he wiped it, but he actually didn't. So they had to go in uh, something Command R, and they were able to go in and yeah, uh, you, you get, reformat the disk, right? Yeah, and uh, then you know they had me reinstall the operating system and, and so forth, and they stuck with me the whole time. Yeah, yeah. pretty uh, good. So, uh, you know, when you when you want to dis Apple, try getting that kind of help from Microsoft. Yeah, the only thing I tell you dis Apple about is their cost. Well, but you get what you pay for. I no, guess. Well, yeah, this, no, oh, this and I don't agree. I don't agree. I think they're overcharging. I really do. Well, I think they're charging way too much for their stuff. You see, I would pay a couple hundred dollars uh, for, uh, for concierge service. Uh, and I'm not having to pay that. It's It's free. No, but what I'm saying is, I think that thousand dollars is outlandish for a phone. Phone, but that's why it's not selling. Plus, it used to be subsidized. It's not subsidized now. Uh, it's, no, it, it, no, well, there is a subsidizing it's, 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 it's of, of sorts. dollars. Hmm? At seven hundred dollars, the phones. What was subsidizing them was we were paying one ninety nine. Right. Two ninety nine. That's and, the difference. You were with iPhone six and iPhone seven. You paid full price, which was six hundred or seven hundred. No, it was five hundred. And it was five hundred for the six. It was nine hundred. And when you paid six hundred, you were getting some amount no. of subsidiz subsidizing. No, I was told I paid full price for the for the phone. Well, no, I, no believe it or not, I think if you were paying six hundred, they're they, uh, they were paying, they were paying like twelve hundred or 1200. something. Yeah. 
Uh, yes. That's why you have to. Did you have to sign a two year uh, agreement? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why. You oh, would, okay. Okay. So that's why. So they you you were pay, helping pay off the phone, and of course, if you lost the phone during that time, you were Good still uh, you still had to keep paying the money. I got insurance. Yeah. Well, that, like, that's I, what I'm you got to do. You got to get insurance, and that adds to the cost. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, I always had insurance, and I did lose one of the phones. Yeah, and it was very nice. Not to have to buy another one. Now, the new thing is that what you do with the phone, and I've tried to figure this one out, but what you do is I can get an iPhone X for next to nothing. But what I do is I buy a monthly plan in which it includes essentially the rental of the phone. Okay. It's like 40-something bucks a month, uh, huh? 48 bucks a month. That, that's what I got. Uh, and I've got a, uh, I think a two year plan, but, uh, at the end of the two years, it's my phone. So how no, much how won't be paid in yeah. two years because I'm doing that with my, with, with this iPhone and it's, it's more than two years and it's still not paid. It won't be paid until May, I think. <laughs> so um, you're your maybe two years with your phone company, but take a look at what your terms are for paying that I right. mean, in two years. I don't know. I might've put down a deposit. Oh, okay. I might have given them three hundred dollars. Well, what That's happens different. is, so how much are you paying per month between the monthly payment for the phone and the phone itself, and the uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, service? I've got uh, I've got three things on my bill, uh, and I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure because I just got everything running. Uh, I've got the iPad. Uh, I've got uh, two cell phones. Uh, both of them, uh, the other one belongs to me, and this one is uh, paying by the month. Are you on a grandfathered program for uh, all? Switch. You switched. So why would you pay separate data for your iPad when you can just turn on Hotspot here and uh, use data from here? I don't understand uh, why it does that. It's more convenient. I have a program that I go into people's houses with this laser thing, and I'm able to measure, create a floor plan, and have it download directly to uh, my computer at the store. So just turn on. Have you ever used Hotspot? Uh, I hadn't had Hotspot because I was an AT and T grandfather. Yeah, well, you should I have try Hotspot, Hotspot now that. because I have unlimited with uh, Verizon. Because it's so cheap. I mean, it's so easy to do. You just flip the button. All this because you're obviously just like when you walk into your house, your phone finds your Wi-Fi. Your phone will see your hotspot. It'll automatic. I mean, your iPad will automatically see your hotspot. It'll connect, and boom, you're online. And I you're was gonna paying have like two fifty before. Now I'm paying like one eighty uh, on Verizon, and maybe it's gone up because I got this phone. So I'll look at my first bill. I haven't looked at the bill yet. Uh, the bill goes in. The other guy pay. They pay it at the store, but uh, so I'm not 100 percent sure what it is. But when I compared them initially, it was less. So you get this because you use it as a business expense. That's why right. I spent that money on the iPhone 10. No, because I, I wanted it. <laughs> uh, the uh, the problem was is my girlfriend has the iPhone 5, and they couldn't migrate at, that over to Verizon. So I gave her my 6S S Plus, and I got the 10. You know, so if I was going to get something, you know, what the hell? You know, uh, the difference in price. How much are you paying for the whole bunch every month? I'm not 100% sure. It's either 180 or 220 really, uh, that's a lot. Just for you? No, for uh, two phones and the iPad. Because for my phone, I pay 130 and then my iPad is like another $28 a month. I think I'm right on that. I don't, you know. Uh, but I, I, I would like to lower it, actually. You know, well, I, I turn off your iPad and huh? just use your hotspot. He doesn't have a hotspot. He's with AT and T. Oh, He's he is me like I was. Yeah, if your grandfather, they won't let you use hotspot. If I don't, right. if I ungrandfather, I can yeah. then use the hotspot. Yeah, right. right. And and uh, I don't know. I never. I I don't know if I need two gigs a month. Okay, because I don't think I use that much. You know, because, most, because well, yeah, most of the stuff I do <laughs> is I, are in Wi-Fi areas. Right. The only you know. time I went over five gigs was when I was watching the Great American Broadcast. Uh, oh, that thing we could we could suck up uh, uh, <laughs> two days. Just boom. Two days. I was getting a warning they were going to slow me down. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Uh, actually, tonight, by the way, on an average, we have more people watching at any given moment than we used to have on Facebook Live. So well, you find out about it. Yeah, and let me let me also so I may keep doing this in, in, on into the future. But let me say to everybody who's watching right now, and this is a plea for me. Look, see, I went full screen with me. A plea for me, if you can. Go to the, uh, if there's a thing, I think, on your page that says subscribe. Is it that right, Scott, that there's a thing that says subscribe? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. now now on the, when I reopened it, yeah, it's it's not red for me, so I can't subscribe again. Yeah, but how much are the subscriptions up to, does it say? Uh, 406. 406. We got two people who signed up. In no, 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 four. Four. <laughs> what were we at? Uh, 402. Oh, really? Okay, we need a thousand. Okay, so just if you're watching us, subscribe, tell all your friends to subscribe. That would be nice. Sure. You know, I would appreciate it. Please. Please. You only do it. What? Well, on every, what, uh, what you have to do is on everything you send out, you have to put a link to YouTube to subscribe. So yeah. you, you put a button on the thing, even on the GabNet website, you can put a button that says subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Oh, well, I'll look into that later. I, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, 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 I, I have a subscribe on Facebook, but nobody seems to do it. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of slowly going to get out of Facebook, you know, as, a, as it, it, it just a, it's just a place for me to say, hey, here I am. Here's where you go to find me every night, you know. And uh, why? Because it's a Russian plant, huh? Uh, uh, Facebook is a is a Russian no, plant. I just don't, you know, I don't like the way they do business. I mean, the other day I I, I ran my uh, uh, Alex Bennett show from 1999 uh, on um, on on what do you call it, on YouTube. And mm -hmm. I was fine when it ran, but when it went to uh, process it and make it a permanent file, uh, they said, there, we can't show it in the United States because there are two songs you play that uh, we can't get clearance for. Oh. But, but that doesn't bother me because I don't have those kind of problems. I'm just wondering what's going to happen when I try uh, footage from various things to make a point about something. We'll have to see. what, Not from movies mm -hmm. or anything, but, you know... Uh, uh, there's stuff stuff that probably is on uh, I get from YouTube actually to be honest with you so we'll see but I I just think they're more forgiving in other words they didn't say oh you're a bad boy you played music they just said hey this can be shown anywhere else in the world but the United States well you know I want this on in the United States so consequently I I pulled the thing you know but uh, but at least they're decent about it you know, they have a concept of, of, of what video and audio is all about and licensing of it. And what they do is they have certain things with certain music or certain clips and so on that if you use them in a show, they don't cut it out of the show. They don't stop you like they stopped me at Facebook. They simply say, the owner of this, you cannot monetize this video. And the owner of the copyrighted material can run commercials before your show okay and i'll buy that that's fine with me you know but at least they find a way to handle it facebook just is very dogmatic and very uh, nazi-like in their behavior so uh and plus i'm looking at the picture right now this thing hasn't faltered once tonight it's smooth as a bell uh, if the bell is smooth, it's smooth, and it, it really seems to be working well. And maybe you people want to um, uh, write something and tell me how, what you think about the the, uh, the the picture you're getting now, you know? Uh, Some of the colors are very good. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, let's see here. Wow, even Fox showing the Democratic response. Oh, yeah, they they all do. They all show the Democratic response, Scott. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, no, no, the color's great. The pictures are great. You guys look great, uh, except for Phil. Phil's a little fuzzy tonight, but that's probably his new equipment. Yeah, his yeah. head looks big too. Yeah, well, his head—he has a big head. 
He's always that's the only thing you can see. He's always, <laughs> yeah, it's a big giant head. Um, so anyway, listen, I got a couple of stories here. Let me, everybody can see my plaid pants tonight. I'm going to have to go back to wearing, I thought I'd wear the turtleneck tonight because I had it on in the, in court and, uh, it's, uh, I have plaid pants as well. Huh? Tonight. You have plaid pants too? Yeah. Uh, the, the plaid pants club. Yeah. yeah. I got blue gotkis. Aren't those the most comfortable things to wear at home? Oh, they're great. I work in them all day. You work in them all awesome. day. Yeah, I work in them too. And I work in them tonight. You know, I mean, I had pants on earlier today. I put these on. I have to I have a two hour show to do. I got to sit here and, and do this. Um, I, I can't uh, go visit a customer wearing these, unfortunately. Yeah. I have to get dressed tomorrow. Yeah, I thought, what would happen if I actually went to the courtroom wearing these? You know? <laughs> Would they just not allow me in, or would Wasn't they? Was there a gangster that uh, showed up? Well, yeah, well, there uh, was a. Yeah, there was. That's yeah, right. Yeah, it I, was. I'm trying to remember his name now. Yeah. Uh, Giancana? No. It, it, no, no, it wasn't, wasn't Giancana. Giancana was killed, I believe. At least that's what I remember. Anyway. The uh, Dapper Don. Yeah, Dapper Don. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so. Let me uh, let me uh, take this a, a step further here. Uh, I got I have some items here. I have a couple items that I collected, uh, and um, one of them, you know, as though the the uh, allegations against Fox don't keep on coming. Here's the latest one: uh, a bombshell allegation against Fox News Channel and its one-time chief Roger Ailes, former Fox News star Andrea Ten. Do you remember Andrea Tanteros? Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she Boy, she uh, was the hottest one they ever had on that show. On that, what is it? Uh, the, five Friends or whatever, uh, the Five? Or you, the, no, well, she, she was on the Five. She was a co-host of the Five, but prior to that, she was on the one with all the women sitting on a couch showing their legs. Uh, Did she say uh, that she didn't uh, get promoted or she well, was promised something she didn't get? Well, it, it, she was a former co-host of the of, of the five and makes the allegation as part of an amended complaint. And here's what she complained about. She said the channel had a closed circuit television network that enabled ales to monitor offices, including those where most of the network's female talent disrobed daily. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, there, was a, there was a Did Trump have a line to it? What? Did, I wonder if Trump had a, a channel on it. There was a biannual trunk show in the spring and fall conducted by Fox Wardrobe Department, the amended complaint says. Uh, the trunk show was held in an empty Fox office, and female talent was expected to disrobe down to their undergarments to try on new on-air dresses for the next season without even the benefit of a curtain. The dresses were pre-selected for the women by the wardrobe department before their arrival. Pants were not an option. There was n I never saw a woman wearing pants on Fox. Um, that's why I used to, only reason I used to watch Fox, to see how high the dresses would go during the show. You know? um, upon information and belief, Ailes was recording female employees disrobe without their consent in their offices during the biannual trunk show. Fox News responded with the following statement. Fox News moved for sanctions against the lawyer who fi filed at Andrea Tentero's original lawsuit, and he has since withdrawn. None of the four lawyers currently representing Tenteros in the action signed her new complaint, which she purports to have written herself. Her outlandish claims lack any factual basis. The she was an attorney, wasn't she? Huh? I think she was, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I hope she turns up somewhere. She, she was good. Look, is that, am I being sexist now? I guess I am, huh? Join the club. Oh, boy. Yeah, no. I, no, because I, she, I remember that <clears throat> show because once they got rid of her, she she was the best looking woman on the show. She was the hottest one on the show, you know. There, yeah, but anyway. Now, uh, I I may be arrested any moment. I may be taken off the air any moment. I'll drag you out of there. Well, 
I'm guilty of whatever Richard Roper is guilty of. Do you know who Richard Roper it was? He was the last was co-host put on uh, that uh, TV show, uh, Three's Company. No, <laughs> uh, Richard Roper was the last uh, reviewer to work with um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Roper and uh, what's his name? Ebert. Ebert. Oh. Ebert and Roper. When when Ebert's partner died uh, uh, and uh, died, they replaced her with Roper. Well, anyway, when then when. Ebert died. Roper held on to the show for a little while, but it didn't it didn't stick. Well, Roper's name came up in the New York Times investigation. Now I know what everybody's thinking. I'm about to say that he molested somebody or he groped somebody, but as a result of this, he has been suspended by the Chicago Sun Times. Let me tell you what he did. Uh, Film critic Richard Roper's reviews and columns will not be published by the Chicago Sun-Times as an investigation is conducted into his Twitter following. Oh, the phony Twitter accounts that you could buy Twitter followers. <laughs> You're on the hook. <laughs> well, what's so bad about that? I, well, that's that's that. Well, as as, as a, a, a person who has bought his Twitter followers, a lot of them, not all of them. Uh, uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. Roper it was one of several prominent journalists, sports stars, politicians, and celebrities who had paid to increase their Twitter followers with fake accounts. They're not fake accounts, by the way. According to the New York Times report published over the weekend, Roper's Twitter following currently numbers over 225,000, but it was not specified by the New York Times how many of those followers were fake. Now, when I bought mine, because if you go over to my Twitter account, you'll see I have 40, uh, I think they've dwindled a little, 47,000. But they're not fake. They're actual people. Of course, when I look at the list, a lot of them are Russian. Yeah. You know, or, or people in foreign countries who would never understand a word of what I was writing. But they never thought to, not, to drop me as a, as a Twitter feed as well. In a statement, the Sun-Times editor Chris Fusco said, we became aware of the weekend ish, the, uh, over the weekend of issues relating to Richard Roper's Twitter account. We're investigating these issues. We will not be publishing any reviews or columns by Rich until uh, his, this investigation is complete. Now, you know, that's a vanity thing. They, well, I don't think they, you know, you're self-employed, so you can get away with it, but it's a vanity thing. Unless you're trying to monetize Twitter somehow or uh, otherwise make money from the amount of subscribers you have, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But if you're misrepresenting yourself by, you know, what you say and who's paying attention to it because you've got a huge following, that I see a problem with. I did it because... Uh, and, and this is uh, my take on it. I did it because I knew that companies, uh, radio companies, would go to your Twitter feed to see how many followers you had before they decided whether they wanted to consider you for employment. Well, see, that might be one of those cases where they could, uh, where they can call you out because that's misrepresentation. Well, no, no. What I'm saying is it's their problem if they're using that kind of stupid reasoning to, you know... Uh, uh, to to say okay, you, we're going to hire you because you have forty seven thousand Twitter followers. No, hire me because I do a good talk show because I can get you good ratings because I can bring in money. But it's a uh, you know Twitter followers is a bad reason. So one of the radio stations that I work for on Long Island is looking for people, and I saw their ad. And their ad more than about what you do on the air seemed to be how you manage social media. So today, radio is all about social media, mm -hmm. and that very well might be, it's like lying on your resume. Is it? You lie on your resume, they can fire you. If they find your lie, that's grounds for firing you even five years down the road if they want to. How do they know if my 47,000 followers are real or whether they're fake? There's got to be a, a way of no, uh, there isn't. running. There isn't. There isn't. There just no. isn't. Take it from me. You know. 
I mean, and how do they find this? They have some sort of software that allows them to see no. where all these things are coming well, from. They can, they can, they, they, they can go, they can go and look. Ones. But you know, maybe I'm very happy. Maybe I'm very popular in Bosnia. So, <laughs> but but they can look and say, oh, these these accounts seem to pop up on all of these other ones. Uh, you know, uh, other people. Yeah, but that's not know, the, I, I don't know exactly how it works. All I know is I paid one company something like uh, $40, and the next day I had 20,000, 30,000 more followers on Twitter. I could well, go online right now and buy them. I don't know where they get them or how they do it, but, you know, they, can, you can't, they can't just be people who don't exist or don't have an account at Twitter. Do you I, look and see if they ever type anything, even if it's in another language? Can you look at those followers and see no, if I, they actually I, I, active account? Uh, I, I, I really, no, I've never been able to take, find you can't, out. You can't see a follower and then click on their name and, and see their profile? But then again, I know I have, a couple, I have at least three, 4,000 legitimate people who, you know, who, who followed me. Uh, on and and I, it's 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 uh, you know what can I say? You know it, I, it, it, it they, they never they never write they never I they never write either. Yes, yeah. yes, Jeff. Uh, many years ago, yeah, when the internet became uh, somewhat of a new business opportunity, and and a lot of salespeople were trying to bring out the numbers. Mm -hmm. And thought that they could do it that way. And I'm sure that there was a way you could just buy names. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lists. And lists. Lists. And there were email lists. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And I, I think it was I think it was just common business. Mm -hmm. Particularly at the beginning. Yeah. Where it used to be done where you would buy a, a real Printed list, yeah, the old ways, so to speak. So people probably are still doing it today. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think some of them, the yeah. idea of getting Russian uh, people who can't even uh, understand the language, it's not going to be very helpful. I, I would, I, I really don't have any idea. I haven't even checked it, but I could probably look up uh, uh, by YouTube followers. And I bet I have, there's a place you can go and get YouTube followers. That's how I'll get my thousand. Fuck you. You don't have to subscribe to me if you don't want to. That's right. The hell you know. you. <laughs> you know, tomorrow, yeah. tune in. You'll see there are 10,000 subscribers for Alex Bennett. You know. Since they pay and give awards and so forth at YouTube for different levels of followers or subscribers. Um, they don't do you, it for that. Uh, yeah. he uh, Matt get got a plaque at 500 he may get a plaque got, but he ain't getting money he's not getting money for that he's getting he, money for how many people watch yes. his videos yeah he yeah well you know it's it was enough to move him and his family from sydney to new york city mm -hmm. uh although he moves he's moving monday or he moved monday uh to brooklyn he says he couldn't take the noise he was living in on fourth street west fourth street yeah uh, yeah and he said that uh, he couldn't record any videos because there was constant sirens and uh, <laughs> and, and noise in the background. Well, with he all was, that money he's making, he should have bought a soundproof apartment. He should have, but uh, he, he didn't realize you didn't want to be in the front of the building. So uh, he's he moved to Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, quiet Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, really. But you know, you know, you can't fake how many people are watching you at any given moment. But you could, you could probably certainly fake subscribers. And you're not even faking them; they actually are subscribers. You're yeah. just paying for them. That's the only difference. <clears throat> but I just, I wondered, like you did, Rob, as to what Richard Roper exactly did that was so horrible. He must have somehow tried to monetize it or use it in a negotiation ploy with the with the newspaper to say, "Look at my vast audience; they pay attention to me." And that has to be the only reason. See, I mean, I, I I joke about my Twitter followers all the time here. Yeah. You've known about this for a long time, right? You know. So that's what I mean. He must have somehow monetized it with his with his company, and that 
bit him in the ass. I did it. Uh, well, I did it so that if uh, Sirius XM went to look at my Twitter account, they'd go, "Boy, he was popular." <laughs> That's really why I did it. Look uh, at huge Roper get replaced by Barney Fife on the uh, TV show Three's Company. You know, as the landlord, he yes, was he Mr. Roper. Huh? No, was, he was. Who was well, Mr. Roper? Oh, uh, what's his name? Norman Fell. Norman yeah. Fell. Okay, was Mr. Roper. Yeah. You're gonna keep doing that joke all night. I I'm going to shove it down your throat until you can't taste it anymore. <laughs> well, we're not getting as many people calling us lately. I wonder what that's all about. Hello. You banned Mike. Like, we banned, yeah, well, that was like having nobody in one of the squares anyway. And then, like and, and when he did, like and then when he did like, say something, his, say his, his, his voice scared everybody away. You know? Where's Brian? What? what? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Brian been? It's been a long time. Yeah, Brian. Well, yeah. Brian called us so about a week ago. Something a week like ago that. or so. Oh, yeah. He hasn't okay. been, he hasn't when you're at house he, arrest, they don't let you use uh, <laughs> Skype. No, no. And I, I heard from Renee the other night. She said we probably will hear from her again soon. There went my, oh, there went my torn meniscus. It just, I moved the wrong way. Hey, damn it. Ah, hate it. Uh, I hate getting old. It's like I think Trump exhausted all of or anybody who listened to him all night tonight. Really? They had to go to sleep. Really? Yeah, it could be. See, I, I didn't wasn't exhausted by him. If if you know what, if he were that way, look, I don't agree with his politics, but if he were presidential like that from the beginning, he'd have been just oh. like George Bush or any other Republican candidate that I didn't necessarily agree with. Uh, so I thought tonight was. I mean, I can't. Yeah, wait. He did a good job for himself. I can't we'll wait to see what he that. eats tomorrow morning to blow all this. But in the meantime, yeah. tonight he acted like a president. When he was in Switzerland last week, they said that he did a good job there too. He stayed on point, and and so except for the uh, fake news thing with the news media. But uh, uh, so maybe this is a, a turn of events. You know, he's uh, he's gotten rid of Bannon. He's gotten rid of a lot of the people that were. Uh, the disruptors. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't think it's that. I think it's personality. I really believe that that's his personality. He's he's not a presidential you can, you style. Can, you can goad him. You can goad him into something where he yes. makes a mistake. I mean, Jay Z the other day was on some TV program and didn't Van have, Jones show. Yeah, you know, Van Jones' CNN's show. Night. And he didn't uh, he didn't have nice things to say, particularly about Trump. The next day, Trump is like tweeting. Right. You know, and it, it, it he always tweets in a bullying way. In other words, I'm going to get even with this person because he said something bad about me. Uh, I'm sure if I'm sure Obama saw a lot of bad tweets about himself, and they all do. and always had the attitude. So, you know, let him say what they're going to say. I'm not going to reply to it because if I reply to it, I give it substance. You know, and then of course the next day everybody was talking about Jay Z, and it's almost it's almost a mark of uh, a, a rite of passage if somehow you make it into a Trump tweet where he blasts you. We should work on that. You here. know what you need to do. Hmm? You know what you need to do, Bennett. Yeah, well, he doesn't give a shit about me. And who do I go after? I go after Schumer and uh, what's her name? You know, Gillibrand. G Gillibrand. Yeah. Uh, who I, you know, I've lost all faith in those people too, you know. I'm doing this because I'm, I'm feeling like I have to sneeze, so let me just blow my nose here. Uh. Oh, you did, yeah, put in the sound effect. Mm -hmm. I turned my mic off <laughs> so you couldn't hear it, you know. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> anyway. Tougher huh? There's a lot of tough requirements here. There are a lot of tough yeah. requirements on this show. Uh, sure. Boy, I'm telling you, this picture just looks so good. I could just stand here to be here and watch it all night. And the, the numbers have stayed pretty good all night. And, you know, so I guess you people like it. Now subscribe to it. Okay. But well, what you, happens you is. got 400 and something, yeah. 400, 4, 400 and 6. Uh, I, I finally signed in and I was already subscribed to. Uh, your channel all you have to do folks is just it's it's uh, youtube.com forward slash bolo bennett b-o-l-o-b 
B-E-N-N-E-T-T, forward slash live. That's well, the, what I did, which is go to gabnet.net and just click on the link there. Yeah. And if you have that page up, just uh, put a tab on it. Because anytime we're broadcasting video, it's going to be active. In other words, I activate it from here. So that when I turn off tonight, this thing is going to go inactive. And if I were to turn it on five minutes later, it would go, it would be active again. So that's the way it works. It's really cool. It's very cool. And it's a better picture. And it sounds to me like the, the audio sounds to be uh, 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 tons better than, uh, than we've had with... Uh, uh, than we have with Facebook Live, and I thought Facebook Live sounded good, you know. So anyway, uh, but this will also for all the people who want to know where is it on Facebook, it'll be on Facebook after the show is over and I upload it. So you should know that, okay? Um, but uh, every night, just come right here, and uh, this will uh, this will be the place for you to. Uh, uh, come and be part of our uh, and be part of our citizens panel too you know now that you can be on and look better and you know what's amazing i have to hand it to skype uh the video on all you guys tonight really except for phil is sensational <laughs> uh but he the trouble is he bought a two thousand dollar machine but he got his camera from uh from mike so yeah. uh that's <laughs> I, I bought a six thousand dollar machine for two thousand dollars, so. Uh, yeah, but it's used. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then it's worth two thousand dollars. Maybe if I went online, I could get one cheaper. Uh. Old yeah. Is, yeah. It depends on what's in it. How old but, is it? Uh, two years. Two. It's two or two and a half years old. Uh, it's six core. Uh. Mine, mine's eight core. Y yeah. But uh, this, uh, it, it's got a great video card. Just the video card Mine's alone got is a, a $1,200 my... upgrade. Oh, well, I, it's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's fast. Yeah, but your 8-core uh, is, is 300 years old. No, yeah. it isn't 300 <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah. You, you got you got to use a chisel and a, and a hammer and some uh, concrete tablets to be able to type. Yeah, yeah, you have uh, to you, chisel the picture into everybody's screen. It takes <laughs> it takes time. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I I found that uh, what's Most amazing. Most the Ten Commandments on your computer. We feed we feed the twenty four seven feed from a mini Mac, and that thing is marvelous. You know, to begin with, uh, these old Macs heat up pretty good. Uh, and uh, the mini Mac, uh, yeah, it doesn't even doesn't even heat up, you know. There we go. Huh? On the Gab store, huh? It'll be available on the Gab store. Well, so. uh, let me know how much. You know, I may buy it from you. All right. You know, don't wipe Probably. it though, because I want to get all your social security numbers and everything <laughs> off of it. So, you know. Uh, yeah. How uh, many people here are really worried about? And, and, and I was talking about this somebody the other day. How many people here are actually uh, worried about identity theft and yeah. really fight against it? What do you What do you do? What do you do, Phil? And then what do you uh, do, Rob? I've got a, I've got a service that monitors, uh, uh, you know, my accounts and the dark web and all of that stuff. Yes. Yeah. What's the name of the company? Um, it's through my it's through my check it's through my bank. It's not uh, LifeLock, Lock. is it? No, it's not LifeLock. It's it's they, like Life Lock. They've right? they've gotten a bad rap lately for some reason. Yes, I canceled it. Really? Why? I think it was scamming me. I don't know. I just felt like I was giving them all this money, and uh, well, I was finding out there was a sexual predator in my area. Yeah, I'm paying seven fifty a month, and I think I'm going to cancel it and go just watch it on uh, what, what, what's Credit Karma. Credit Karma, you know, within a day, uh, or even if you open up a new account, I get a, uh, uh, I get an email. Yeah, I have Credit Karma. You a warning, you know, and it, it's good. You know, it's, it's amazing. I I had a card that I had been paying off for in the last ten years, just a little bit at a time, right? And we finally paid it off. My credit is like excellent. All right. And there's a number associated with it. I can't remember the numbers. 
There were two different accounts. As soon as I paid off that account, my rating went down. Not well, much, happens. but it yeah. went down because I don't happens. owe anybody money. That's right. Uh, there's uh, something else that happens with credit card. Uh, if you charge something, yeah. they immediately show your utilization has gone up and your and your number goes down. But if I pay off everything, it takes three months before they report the fact that I don't owe anything. I paid off a car loan early and my credit went down because of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't pay my car loan off early. It just got paid off because I paid the last. So payment. what does that say? If, what does it say about credit ratings? I mean, uh, uh, what? Your, your credit rating should be excellent because you've paid everything off and you don't owe anybody any money. And so, therefore, if I want to borrow money from you, I've got some money to, to, to it, give you. It will go back up, but closed accounts, when they close an account, when it's uh, at the end of the term, so you don't want to close any accounts. That's right. As soon as you close right. a, check, a, checking account, a checking account or, a, I mean, a credit card, a card. Boom, it goes yeah. down. Your value is continuously paying the bank money every month. And if you stop, you're not a great customer anymore. Yeah, but it isn't a matter of a great customer. It's you're saying this guy is a deadbeat or this guy isn't a deadbeat. And obviously you're not a deadbeat. Yeah, well. You're a better, you're better than a deadbeat if you can continuously send them a check every I month like I haven't, for some money. I haven't looked uh, lately to see what my what my thing is anymore on Credit Karma, but I bet it's gone down. I uh, Just I like my stocks did today. Uh, go ahead. I purposely uh, keep like a $5 automatic charge or something to each credit card so that they don't go stale, and then I auto pay them. So, uh, you know, like uh, Hulu might get paid well, with one I, credit I have a card. Cre I have a credit card I use every month, but at the end of the month, my business manager pays it all off. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That won't bring down your credit. Uh, yeah. but if you close the account, yeah. you know, uh, for instance, my, uh, my Audi was financed with uh, Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. At the end of the term, it was paid off. Uh, and I... Uh, and and the uh, and the rating went down a few points. Uh, now then, I bought a Toyota, mm -hmm. and I had another that offset that. I see. Okay, so so you know you just gotta have you know you gotta you gotta watch. I, it. I just don't understand. Okay, I mean, uh, if, if you watch it too much, it could drive you nuts. Oh and yeah, I, I only look once a week. I don't even look once a week. They change every week. So uh, Credit Karma reports once a week. Once a month or so I check, or once every couple of months now. Because when I was doing it every week, I was getting really aggravated because I was doing that. I was trying to consolidate mm -hmm. my debt, right? And I was like, okay, I got this paid off. Good. <clears throat> I'm closing this account or whatever. And I started seeing my number drop. It, it all caught up. It okay. took a couple of months, yeah. maybe six months, and then, then it went up even higher. That's why I stopped watching it all the time. But let's get back to this whole thing about identity theft. So you're worried about it, Phil. How about you, Rob? You said you're, you're constantly... Yeah, I'm worried about it, especially after the, uh, the, the, the Experian, the Experi what is it, Experian? Equifax. Equifax. Yeah. What I did was I locked my credit. And that's to my detriment in ways because sometimes you don't realize or you forget you locked it and you go to someplace and you need to get something which you don't even think of and they go to check your credit and they reject it because they can't see it. And it's uh, so then you have to call, and you got to do this whole rigmarole to get it opened and then you can open it for a day or for one per one business or you can open it for a couple of hours or whatever it's a pain in the ass but i, I locked my credit so nobody can nobody can access it i fell victim to a paypal phishing thing and i realized that as soon as i put in my email address uh and um i and i was glad that i didn't put in my social security number but I'm still getting warnings that it shows up on the, my email address shows up on the black web, dark web. But uh, to begin with, who's telling you it shows up on the dark web? 
uh, whatever that service is I have from uh, Mechanics Bank. Yeah, but does that mean I I, I don't understand? I mean, they, they're a serv the service they monitor these. I mean, things. What's all that noise going on? Is that at your place, Jeff? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he gives a look. Did you see that look? That was the look. <laughs> that was the "Hey, that dear, I'm good. on the ramble with Alex." Look, you had to see that. <laughs> Just listening to this, you missed it. I should. Free. I got quiet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's like whoa. But he, here's the thing: when they talk about the dark web, uh, it's nice of people to say to you, "Yes, we see your name come up on the dark web." But what does that mean exactly? What seven dollars and fifty cents a month? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> what, what is what is the dark web like? I don't. I've only had myself compromised once, and it was my PayPal account, and it was compromised by somebody who was buying some stuff off a uh, off a oh, game game thing in 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 Singapore. And so I got a hold of the people in Singapore, and I told them about it, and they said, well, that's not acceptable, and they canceled whatever account this came from. And I went to play PayPal. I told them about it, and they said, we will have a, a, a investigation. And within a few days, I got a letter saying, hey, you know, we, we've taken that charge off of your PayPal account. Um, but that's the only time I've ever had anything close to that happen. Um, I think at one, one point we did change my credit card. We got a new one, but it, and I can't remember what the reason was. But I don't think anybody was charging stuff to me. But that was the only time anybody was charging something to me. That's really hard to believe. And for all the time that you've had credit cards and stuff, I can't tell you how. It just, had it, it just happened to me two weeks ago where I, I happened to just check my bill for something. And lo and behold, I saw some airfare uh, on uh, an airfare charge on my card, and they had just it, I, I caught it so early. You know how it only says pending when it first yeah. goes on. Yeah, it said pending. I called up Chase, and I said, I don't know what this is, and they canceled the card, sent me a new one. I can't tell you how many yeah. times. The it's only problem with that, I I did have to cancel a card, and I'm trying to remember what it was for exactly, but there was some kind of intrusion into my card. But that's the only time I really remember uh, it happening. And wait a minute, let me finish. Let me finish what I was saying. And um, uh, the problem with that is you got to be very careful about that because once I change the card, I then got to remember all the people that I have yeah. listed I for that card. Remember your iPad? You lost. You lost your um, uh, your uh, uh, deal. Uh, your unlimited deal uh, for a little while no, that because was, you. It, no, that uh, was was that was the lost card, or is that because you just uh, you changed something? No, it's because I I think when I, oh no, that was when I changed iPads and I went over and I didn't push the right button. I didn't push the one that grandfathered me in. So I called them up and I told them about it and they took it off and then I did it. So so that's how I solved that problem. I, I had a deal where I was going scuba diving in Maui mm -hmm. and I got a brand new credit card. And so I was, it was a place that I'd never gone with before and I had to pay for the dives up front. Uh, it was maybe $600. So I give them the credit card number over the phone and this credit card I had just gotten it. I never used it. I just activated it. An hour later, somebody in Spain bought a $5,000 watch on that credit card. And I get a call. I don't remember which Wait bank it Wait a minute. A $5,000 watch that you didn't buy? I wasn't in Spain. I was in San Francisco. I was talking to somebody yeah, in Maui. Yeah. And somebody in Spain... They must have compromised that number somehow when they used it. Somebody, somebody did something. Or it could then, be that that particular place stole your fucking identity. Well, I called them and sort of accused them of that. See, here, here's the thing that always kind of bothered me about, <laughs> about some people. They go, I'm afraid of identity theft. I'm not going to do this. I don't do that. I don't like doing business on the Internet. And yet they will then go into a restaurant with that same credit card, give the credit card to the waiter, who disappears with the card into a back room for about 10 minutes and then comes back with your card and you don't think he could have identity theft? 
Bullshit. Most of these restaurants now come to you with a... Uh, well, that's a, new. And that's thing. been going on in Europe for the last 10 years where they come with this little thing and yeah. they swipe your card right in front of you and then they charge it. But that, uh, I still, I can't think of a restaurant I've been to in the last year where they've done that. Ruth's Chris. Well, that may be fine. I don't go to Ruth's Chris because I don't like overpriced steaks. Uh, well, you know. Uh, there's a new one on the menu now. It's really good. Yeah, well, you know, it's all the meat you buy, and I know where to buy the good meat. So anyway, but anyway, but the point I'm making is, is that, you know, you, this is um, uh, that you, 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 you make a, take a big chance when you're handing your credit card to a person. In a, in a, you know, so don't tell me that you're not willing to do business on the web where Amazon goes out of their way to try and keep your account secure. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's way safer on the Internet than it is when you give it to somebody. And they people away. people yeah. were afraid of the Internet and afraid to spend money on the Internet for uh, initially. But I think that that's been overcome with Amazon. Forbin uh, Colossus says, my identity was stolen by a fucking San Francisco waiter. Happened on Clement Street. <laughs> and about I was teaching for shopping on Clement Street. About yeah. 15 years ago, my brother went to buy some clothes, and he was standing at the counter in the store. Yeah. And he gave the guy his credit card, and the guy swiped the credit card. He left the store. Uh about a month later, he started noticing some weird charges, and the he called the company. The company traced it back to that store because they asked him. Yeah. And they found there was a guy because they they noticed other credit card holders in that store. Turns out a guy was doing two swipes. He swiped it into his phone. He had a little reader, and he swiped it into his phone, and he also swiped it on the company's system, and he sold all those uh, all those numbers. Wow. So. It can happen right in front of your eyes, too, if you're not careful. Wow. I tell Colossus, you know, Clement Street, uh, the major portion of Clement Street is all Russian. Uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe there's some sort of conspiracy uh, going on with the uh, Russians in these numbers. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it, 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 you know, I, I don't worry about it that much because I've, I haven't had that much of a negative experience with it. So the more more dangerous thing to have happen to you, and this is the latest scam, is that people who own homes, and uh, what they do is they figure out ways to get your title from you. And if you don't have one of these super locked title things, well, you don't even know what's happened. Like homesteading. Uh, homesteading. There, there, I, I, you know, well, yeah, I, I there's a, there's it. another thing going on right now during tax time that they say that you should probably put in for your tax return as soon as possible. Because what yeah. happens is there are people out there waiting to use false, you know, your, your, steal your identity and go collect, you know, file a fake return and get the money on that. And then when you file your return, they go, wait a minute, you already filed a return. That's happening now, too. So are, is this wonderful world of the Internet, has this been such a godsend to us? Has this been wonderful for us? You know, I mean, it's become the biggest way people f literally steal stuff from people. It's a double-edged sword. It, it, it cuts on both sides. It's, there's good and there's bad. I mean, even the most sophisticated of us have answered, as you said, uh, a, a phishing letter, you know, where you thought. Not have it yet. Uh, well, I'm very good about it, but I almost, I almost did it the other day. It was so sophisticated that I almost did it. And then I suddenly realized, oh, wait a minute. No, no, this is You know wrong. how they almost got me once? I was expecting something. Mm -hmm. FedEx. I had been, and it was a little bit late. And so I get this letter or I get this email from what I thought was FedEx. And I open it up and it was, it, it, it talked about something that was pertinent to me. And I'm like, uh, well, I, so my, I make it a practice I never click on a link in any email. If if I I call FedEx and that's what I did. I picked up the phone and I called FedEx and they said, "No, that's not the case." But just that's by opening a, that just, letter, didn't you maybe compromise your computer? No. It was just a link that they were going to they wanted your information. Mm. It, it was a link that said, "Put your information in here and your tracking number with with your information and you know, will show you where the package is sorry it's delayed blah blah few blah. things for people to remember do not ever give out 
that information unless you're buying something online. And then if you're buying something online, if people will look at my webpage at, face, at, uh, at uh, gabnet.net, you will see that I have a secure thing at the top. I'm, I'm a secure site now. That guarantees that any business you would do with me is not going to get ripped off, okay? Uh, but if you go to a place and they want money, I know that the, the people that I do business with all the time that carry the GabNet um, uh, stream, uh, unfortunately, they don't have that secure thing, although I do pay them anyway. But if you see that security thing, it's, it's, it's better off for you to be able to, you know, give them an email address or things like that. But if you get a letter and they want any information like that from you, do not give it because most reputable companies will not, okay? So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's simple, but uh, uh, I, just, I just think that we're living in a very predatory age. Have you Excellent. had any problems, Scott, at all with uh, with uh, identity theft? Wait a minute. Turn on your turn on your mic. It's not on. No, your mic isn't on. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh, oh, fuck. Marcel, sign language it for us. Sign language. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there was uh, a disaster a uh, couple about six months ago, mm -hmm. and the police department had a uh, person signing, uh, and that person wasn't really signing, and uh, there, so there, there was uh, they were all upset uh, that. Uh, that's that's so. funny though. <laughs> Isn't it, wasn't That's there funny. a person? Wasn't there a person uh, with a president like Obama or whatever in Africa or someplace like that that was signing, but he didn't know how to sign? It was he was a phony. Yeah, but I don't think it was Obama. I think it was a police uh, department. No, no, no. This is this is an older disasters. story. This is an older well, story. Well, this one's uh, like around the time of the hurricanes. Uh, uh, yeah, it was the hurricanes. Yeah. I saw that guy on TV. I was like, "That's really weird. I've yeah, never seen doing that." Doing all sorts of stuff, like you know, like this and like this. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad, but uh, they they somebody actually knew what it said and said, "This guy isn't doing anything. He's gibberish." Mm -hmm. uh, well, anyway. Uh let me start the theme here. Hey, listen, you know, thank you, because you were the first show on, on YouTube that we've done live, I mean, as a regular thing, and the numbers have been so good, and uh, the reaction to it has been so good, I don't have anybody complaining to me that they, well, we can't get it. It's the easiest yep. thing in the world, and if you forget yep. what it is, it's, it's uh, facebook.com forward slash bolo Bennett forward slash live. That's it. You get the page. There'll be nothing on it, nothing going. The minute I click and start broadcasting here, all of a sudden you'll see something. So you don't have to do anything. Just go to the page. And well, you need to make a video and post it on Gabnet. No, no. Uh, I'm not, it's so simple <laughs> that if you can't do it, you don't deserve to watch this program. <laughs> you know, if you're a fucking moron, this is the way we read, weed out. It's our, it's our own form of Darwinism. Okay. Uh, mostly you have left wingers, so they're, yeah, they're never yeah, going to be yeah. able to get past it. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Scott Boddicker. We appreciate it. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, now <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> It was stuck off. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Uh, it. Jeff Stein, thank you. Thank you to Phil Meyer. And thank you to uh, to Rob. Uh, in a nice, big, wonderful way, because we're, we're in high def and everything like that, just give a big wave goodbye to the YouTube audience, okay? And that's our, uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. I really, uh, I really thank them for joining me. Uh, a good evening by, had by all. I wish there were a few more, but, you know, you can't have everything. Um, I'm just getting everything ready for the next show, which is, as it might be, The Intersection, which is next over most of this GabNet, followed by Connections. And tomorrow night, it will be at 930, uh, Damian Chaplin and The Exchange. In the meantime... Um, Come back to YouTube again tomorrow night. I hope we can build on this audience. It's been, it's, the acceptance has been very good. And I love the way it looks. So, you know, that's all you need. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. See you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. 
And if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? 